Holy God, I love blending. What's Whoa. going on in there? Hey, what's going on everybody for First Week Feast? I'm Sean Evans coming at you from Queen Majesty HQ in scenic Long Island City, New York, where I'm joined by Erica Deal. She's the mastermind behind a pair of Hot Ones classics, including one of my favorite sauces of all time, the Scotch Bonnet and Ginger Sauce. We're here to get the hot sauce making commandments from the queen herself. We're gonna be doing two sauces today. We have a grilled pineapple and jalapeno sauce. And then for the more advanced viewers out there, you know who you are. We're gonna do a Sicilian scorpion pepper sauce. But before we get it going, how did you get into the hot sauce game? Making it for myself, I eat hot sauce on uh, every single thing that I eat. So I couldn't find things that were hot enough. I couldn't find things that were, you know, without sugar or like dyes or weird ingredients. and. So I just started playing around a lot. You know, I think a lot of people think that a hot sauce is maybe hard to make at home, and I think that we'll dispel a lot of that today. That's right. But can you talk to me about some of the mistakes that people make if they're trying to make their own hot sauce? I would say some of the hurdles that I've run into, yeah, putting too much vinegar in. I'm not a big fan of watery sauces. I like sauces with a little body in there. Maybe like too salty, I would, you know, you don't need as much salt as you might think you need. You know what? We've got our ingredients out. I think it's about time that we make some sauces. Let's get to chopping and mixing. And first things first, we're making a grilled pineapple and jalapeno sauce. Can you break down the ingredients for us, Erica? Yes. How are we starting? So we got fresh pineapple, jalapenos, garlic, lemon juice, salt, pepper, vinegar, olive oil. It's pretty simple sauce to make and it's designed to be served fresh. Make a dinner, eat the whole thing. Let's start with the pineapple for the first ingredient. What's the advantage of using pineapple? Um, it adds a nice acid punch as well as uh, some sweetness. You don't need a lot to have the desired effect. Next step is putting them on the grill. On Why grill the pineapples? That bring out the sweetness? Why are we grilling? So we're grilling, yes, to bring out the sweetness, tenderizes it, it gives a little caramelization, and it has that extra grill flavor, like a little depth to it. I would also um, grill them on both sides. Just make sure that both sides are, get that nice color to it. So we'll keep an eye on our pineapple, and then we'll move on to our next step, which is? Which is um, jalapenos. Let's do some jalapenos. And then we're using jalapeno in this sauce, which is on you know the lower end of the spectrum if we're talking the Scoville scale. What's special about the jalapeno? I, I love it because you can use a lot of them. It's not gonna add too much heat. It's kind of a heat that everyone can enjoy. And it's also very versatile. So if, if you're just getting into making your own hot sauce at home, it's a good place to start. We are prepped in terms of our ingredients. It is chemistry time. We just have to toss it in the blender. I generally tend to start with the liquids, so it's two cups white vinegar. How important is vinegar to the recipe? That's what's preserving your hot sauce, so it's very important. And the type of vinegar you choose is also very important because it affects the flavor. Two cups into the blender. Yep, perfect. Bam. So we need two tablespoons of lemon juice. One. Perfect. Two. Up next is salt and black pepper. Throwing some onions in. Yep. Jalapenos, they're going in. Yep. Two cups of grilled pineapple. Yep. Into the blender. Very important, garlic. Six of them. Ja. All right, we're on, yeah. then we'll just start cranking yeah. it up. Yep. It's oddly satisfying. <laughs> Good, that's awesome. God, I love blending. <laughs> wow. I actually see the sort of like Queen Majesty trademark in that. <laughs> and you could just use it like that right away. Here we go. Testing our grilled pineapple and jalapeno sauce. You roll up to the potluck with mm, some homemade exactly. hot sauce yep. and you just look like you know what you're doing. But we're not stopping there. We are going to keep the train rolling and our next sauce, it's a little bit more ambitious. Yes. It's a lot hotter. Yes. It is a Sicilian scorpion sauce. So let's clear slate and give it a go. 
So as a maker, yes. what's the difference when you're working with a mild pepper, like a jalapeno versus a super hot, like this thing right here, the scorpion pepper? Danger, basically, you have to be a lot more protected, uh, wear gloves. We should have like hazmat suits yeah. or something. Yeah, right, definitely. right, right. And then we're calling this the Sicilian scorpion sauce. What's our Italian twist? What are the ingredients that we have here today? First up, we need three cups of apple cider vinegar. I'm on it. This YouTube thing doesn't work out. Is there a spot in the kitchen here? Yes, please. Here we go, I'll help you out. We need two tablespoons of sweet vermouth, then two tablespoons of olive oil. Two tablespoons of Italian parsley. One tablespoon of salt. One tablespoon of pepper. One cup of sun-dried tomato, which is this whole guy right there. Bam. Two cups of red bell. And we're putting it in a blender, so sometimes I don't even bother to like cut it that well. It's gonna get cut up. Exactly. Trust me, it'll get cut up. One cup of sweet onion. And then I think we have some garlic. Six. Six? Yeah. See how fast a learner I am? <laughs> Good job. So we're putting two scorpion peppers into our hot sauce. Yes. If you're at home, maybe try with one, see where you're at. But we're going just boom, zoom, straight to the moon with this one. Holy God, I love blending. Whoa. What's going on in there? <laughs> Just dressing some wings over here. That's a lot. That's considerable. It's <laughs> generous. All right, Erica. All right, thank you Sean. for having me. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. R.I.P. It's pretty good. So here's all I'll say about this. It is good. It, we made a delicious hot sauce. It is very spicy. Lots of elements in there, all working together. Mm -hmm. It tastes, it's got some luxury to it. It's got some wood grain to it. You know nice. what I mean? Yeah, thank you. Well, there you have it. Now you know how to make your hot sauce at home. Queen Majesty, pick up a couple cases. It's worth it. You heard it here. For the First Beat Feast fans, this is Sean Evans. Until next time, Internet.